consultant pediatrician in neonatal autism department at the Ontario Hospital, Rodney Street. Today we will be speaking about perhaps the most commonest symptom in pediatrics, that is fever. Who doesn't have a fever? What is a fever? A fever is when your child's body temperature is higher than normal. Now what is the normal body temperature? A normal body temperature is around 37 degrees Celsius, that is 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. It does not indicate a serious illness. Mind you, fever does not indicate a serious illness, so there should not be any fear for fever. A fever needs to be uh, about 42 degrees centigrade or around 102 degrees Fahrenheit to cause damage to your child's body. What are the causes of fever? The causes of fever are either infective or non-infective. Amongst the infective causes, the most prevalent and the most common cause is a viral illness which is going around in the environment, particularly in this season. And the bacterial causes are few, but it may involve the urinary tract or the lungs or your child's tonsils or ear. The fever itself is not harmful, I repeat, and your child's temperature will return to normal when the infection passes away or settles. Now what are the symptoms? The symptoms of fever are your child may look flushed and feel hot and the child may be very irritable, uncomfortable, the child may feel very miserable, the child may breathe quicker and the heartbeat may be pounding. The child may not want to eat, which is perhaps the commonest symptom, what you will notice at home. These symptoms are all due to fever and uh, will return to normal when the child's temperature comes down to normal with either a bath or with use of common home available medications or when the cause of the fever actually passes away. Uh, now, what are the treatment of fever? It is not always necessary to treat a fever. This is very important because fever is a natural immunological response of the body. So, what did you do uh, for your child when, when the child was very small? You boiled the utensils, you sterilized the utensils to kill the germs. Likewise, the body actually boils the blood or sterilizes the blood to kill the germs be it viral, be it bacterial, fungal, whatever may be the cause. So fever is a natural and a very faithful immunological reaction, response of the body to ward off, to kill the germs by the body itself. We actually should not be doing anything about the fever just to make the child feel comfortable and to bring down the temperature so that dehydration does not occur. So, if your child has a viral illness, then it is likely to get better over a period of 5-7 to seven days. There is no need of any antibiotic at all. Make the child comfortable. Medications are secondary. Now, what are the home care tips for a child having fever? Give your child plenty of fluids to drink so that during fever, when dehydration starts occurring, your child should not get dehydration at all because dehydration itself keeps up the fever. It is known as dehydration fever. So you may give plenty of oral rehydration solution. You may give other liquids like soups, juices, dark water. And if you are breastfeeding your child, definitely you should be breastfeeding and you should be frequently breastfeeding your child. Do not worry if your baby does not eat well. They will get their appetite back once the cause of fever is detected or when the fever actually settles uh, in the coming two or three days. Fluids are very important to keep your child uh, in a healthy state. So consider giving your child paracetamol and sometimes ibuprofen if you feel that the child is getting too much irritable or is having a fever more than 
100 degree Fahrenheit even after a very good sponging or a bath. So coming to sponging or bath, this is perhaps the most important thing in fever what you can do uh, to your child at home. So at any time of day or night, at any temperature above 99 degree Fahrenheit, you should be bathing your child of any age from head to toe with lukewarm water. You should be actually rubbing the skin to take out, take out the temperature from inside the body, particularly taking care of the groin area, the sides of the neck and the axilla where the arteries are very superficial and your lukewarm water will leach out the temperature from these areas and there will be a significant drop in temperature. You may not even give medications like paracetamol or ibuprofen. Make your child comfortable with plenty of cuddles and reassurance. Encourage your child to rest or play quietly if they are unwell. Do not ever put your child in a cold bath or in a cold draft of air and do not give your child aspirin. Sponging should be done with lukewarm water I again repeat never with ice cold water nor with very hot water. Dress them comfortably particularly during the summer season with loose cotton gowns. Now just let me touch upon one thing that is one of the most dreadful side effects of a high fever that is a febrile fit or a febrile convulsion. Sometimes you may get very panicky seeing your child convulse or throwing a fit at the height of fever. This is known as febrile seizure or febrile convulsions. It usually runs in the family but it may occur when the temperature suddenly rises from normal to even up to 99 degree Fahrenheit. It does not necessarily mean that your child may actually have a temperature of 103 degree Fahrenheit. Now what should you do if your child has a fit? The first and foremost thing is that you should not panic. Stay calm. Do not force or put anything inside your child's mouth including your fingers. They may cause injury not only to yourself but also to your child. Ensure that your child is placed in a safe environment, particularly on a hard surface and you should be removing any objects that would injure them. Note the time when the febrile fit actually stops. It usually stops within two to three minutes of its onset to tell your doctor later on. Once the fit has stopped and your child is comfortably placed on the side, then you should consult your doctor or the nearest emergency facility available. Do not shake or slap, slap your child to wake up the child. Do not put any pungent smelling objects like ammonia in front of the child's nostrils. Do not restrain your child during a fit. Take your child to your local doctor or your healthcare professional or the emergency department as soon as possible. So viewers, uh, today we'll be concluding a little discussion on fever, hope. From now on, you'll have no doubts, no fear about fever. Thank you.